Good morning, friends. It's cold this morning. Here, take a look at the fire. There he is. Fire master. There's our little camp. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, I'm going to take you for a walk in the wash this morning. Uh, today is Saturday and yesterday is the first Friday that I have not posted a video since last July. So, if any of you were sitting at your desks working waiting for that, sorry. Uh, the reason I didn't post a video yesterday is because I was busy. I went to the RTR. And for those of you who are RVers, you probably know what the RTR is, but for those of you who aren't and have never heard of the RTR, it stands for Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. And it's a meeting in the desert of a bunch of people who uh, are nomads and want to learn more about being nomads. It's organized by a guy named, a guy named Bob Wells. And uh, as I go for a walk in the wash today, I'm going to tell you about some of my impressions of the RTR. There's a wonderful place to walk down here. And it's wonderful because it's out of the wind. The wind is cold again this morning. It's supposed to be a 30% chance of rain today. And from the looks of the sky, it might come to pass. You can walk in these washes for miles, all the way to those mountains in the far distance. And the reason, of course, is because when it rains really hard, the water sloshes down out of those mountains and creates huge volumes of water through these washes. You can tell by the rocks and the way they're moved around that a lot of water goes through here at some time. Well, I've probably walked about a quarter of a mile or more. It's very good for the back in the morning and the terrain is just rough enough like these rocks here to keep the ankles alive and alert. Well, what did I think of the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous? It's my third rendezvous. Um, it started out as a few hundred nomads in the desert sharing ideas about how to be a nomad. And then it turned into a few thousand. And this year the estimates I've heard are 10 to 12,000, so it's now many thousand. Like I always say about uh, showing you around town in Ajijic, Mexico, where we live, uh, there are plenty of other YouTube videos about that, so I don't think I have anything to add in terms of uh, showing you the RTR. There will be hundreds, if not thousands, of videos about that that you can go and watch on YouTube. But, also, like I always say, there's one thing you can't get anywhere else, and that's me talking about it. Mama said, if you can't say something nice, just keep your mouth shut. And uh, I'm not the kind of guy who keeps his mouth shut, so I'm going to have to say very nice things about the RTR. Uh, Bob Wells is an interesting guy. Um, I think it's perfectly okay that you stop in the middle of a presentation and answer a question that 200 people already know the answer to. Um, it takes a special kind of guy to attend to um, the newbie questions like that. It reminds me of that government program, No Child Left Behind. No newbie left behind in the middle of a presentation. Bob is a wonderful guy. 
And of course, um, you have to analyze your audience when you're giving a speech. And sometimes you have to tell people the same thing ten times in ten different ways before they actually fully understand it. And Bob is a master at that. He's really good at it. I was afraid that with the uh, government shutdown that it would be a lawless free-for-all out there with no authority being exercised to control the masses. So it was very good that they had all of those volunteers who were enforcing a lot of rules to control the thousands of free spirits who might roam off the paths. There was lots of very good rules. It was nice to have signs all over the place too to make sure that we knew where to go and where not to go and when to wait to be told where to go. It was also nice that they kept all those who wanted to play music on that one street. And it seemed so nice and cozy with all the thousands of cars and vans and real RVs all parked together so close that they could share well, everything. And it was all free. Sweet. I really enjoyed my time at the RTR. We interrupt this video for the fly count. This would be 419. Did I get them? I did. Uh, is it on there? Oh yeah, 419. 420, that guy was flying high. Well, there are those who will say I didn't actually go to the RTR. This is the party RTR where we saw a bunch of our friends. And now we're going to take a drive off towards the rest of the RTR, which is about a half a mile from here. There's a tiny house. Or is it an outhouse? <laughs> It's a tiny house. There's a nice paint job. <laughs> uh, Tell Dan about that. Van. So I wonder if they have this rule this year about no videos at the RTR. They do. It's just tough. I've got it in four-wheel drive in case we need to take off fast. <laughs> Gunther! <laughs> so we are now on the roadway road, and we are authorized. You think anybody cleared all these people yeah. that are walking the wrong direction? I don't know. Were you guys cleared by the guy with the radio? <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not sure you were. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> and this is Second Street. And the music camp. So. I'll bet they all play their music at the same time. They do that in Mexico. You go to the town plaza and have three bands all playing at the same time. <laughs> With the, the mustache, the, the guy with the big, uh, big mustache, Fu Manchu, the big, the, the big uh, truck. Semi, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Temporary parking, as far as you can see. Uh oh, we got past. <laughs> so we're standing still. No, no kidding, I'm. They're going to take my parking place. Oh wait, we're not parking. I am the black jeep of the family. 
Yeah, except it's blue. And exactly how many bulldozer passes would it have taken to make two ways through the washes? I used to think it was funny to call the RTR a traffic jam in the desert. It's not funny today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.